Hello everyone, welcome to Penumbra Black Plague. There's not much of an introduction for this game because this is the second game in the Penumbra series and I've just finished Penumbra Overture. So the first one is Penumbra Overture, this is now Black Plague, the second game in the series. And then the third part of the series is the expansion pack, Penumbra Requiem. So not much to introduce, if you're watching this you probably saw my videos on Penumbra Overture, the first game. Which, uh, which ended rather unsatisfactorily, whatever the right word is, um, and prematurely, in a hallway. So let's see if we can continue that story or whatever Black Plague does. I honestly don't remember the story of Black Plague. But let's see if we can figure out what the heck is going on. Yeah, let's go. New game. Without this knowledge, without this foundation, you could not have the will to do what I must now ask of you. I followed my father to the Greenland Wastes to uncover his secrets. You had to know how far I was willing to go. I found a disused mining shaft and took shelter from the storm. You had to know how desperate I was. I was plagued by doubts, fears, and mysteries, and aided by a madman, Red. You had to know how lonely I was. I incinerated my best friend. Red told me he wanted to die. You had to know how guilty I felt. I ventured boldly onwards and was struck down by my own heroics. You had to know how stupid I was. All of these things. So human, so perfect. And yet still I fail to do what I must now ask of you. So apparently I play someone else. I guess I've been asked by Philip? Or will be asked by Philip? To do what he couldn't do? I hope I'm remembering his name correctly too. His name was Philip, right? It wasn't really mentioned very often. I hear someone alive next to me. Wait, I'm locked inside, so... Am I not Philip? I mean, this seems like maybe what would have happened. Oh god, what the hell am I hearing? Uh, this seems like this might be what happened to Philip. I mean, Philip was knocked out. And then maybe he was then... I think I need to find a way out of here. I was going to say, this seems like maybe this is Philip and he was knocked out and put inside of here, but I don't know. The introduction made it sound like it's not him. Anyway, let's find a way out. Various paper clippings, a recipe for French toast, <laughs> some sort of article covering a carnival in Reno, and what I think is the stock market review from 1989. None of that is helpful. Ooh. Ooh, a coin. Great! I'll buy... I'll buy something at the penny candy store. Wait, you mean there's no candy in prison? There's no candy in monster prison? Aww. Directions and guidelines for emergencies. Not much use now. Let's put this in front of the door. Just, just in case it tries to come inside. That might keep it out for two milliseconds. Close to freezing cold. Yeah, this place is falling apart. It's miserable. The ceiling looks like it might come down any second. I should get out of here. I can't stand that noise. It gives me the creeps. Yeah, the buzz of a fluorescent light. Well, some fluorescent lights. Most don't make that noise. Dead cold. And I don't think this place is going to get any warmer. An office desk. 
but from the looks of it, someone has been using it as a workbench. Ooh. A vice, in working condition. Ready to squeeze anything, or anyone. Is it opening or closing? Is it moving at all? Is it moving? It doesn't really look like it's moving. What is it? I don't understand. Why is it hitting something when I do it from here, but not hitting it when I... I don't even know what's happening. But I'm going to squeeze this pencil. If I can. Oh yeah! Um, a new feature. At least I think it's new. In Black Plague is the ability to rotate objects. Yep. You can rotate objects. I. It either was not a feature in Penumbra Overture, or... They just never told you you could do it. Because if you hold down C, you can actually rotate objects. I'm not sure if I can do it too well on this pencil. It's kind of slow. It's kind of weird on the pencil. Let's try this. Mm-hmm. Very, very nice. We must be very, very quiet. We don't want the monster to know we're awake. Out of the way, bed. No one likes you. Except except tired people. They like you. Oh, my glow stick. A glow stick should be useful. Yes, 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 my trusty glow stick. Between light and shadow exists an entire world. That world is necessity our own. Get out. Now. O. Oh. Who's O? Oh? Okay, hey, well, you don't need to tell me to get out. I know. Ooh, a ventilation cover. Damn, these screws are tight. I need some sort of tool to get this open. Okay, so I could try to use a coin. I'm so close. The coin is just a little bit too thick to work as a makeshift screwdriver. I think the vice grips come in handy here. Yes. Uh, what the hell is it? I don't even know what, what's happening with this handle, but I think it worked. Flat coin. Ah. It's not much, but I guess this hole is my only way out of this hell hole. May 2001. I wasn't sure how long I'd been out, but my head still hurt. Either it hadn't been long, or they hit me really hard. I didn't have a clue what was going on, and all of a sudden, I really didn't care. I was getting out. So this is Philip, then. It, it must have been Philip, yeah. The main character from last time, so maybe what, we're, we were, what we were reading there is still... I guess it's still in the future. After all, the text that we kept reading in Penumbra Overture was also from the future, a future that we never even saw in Penumbra Overture. And I guess that's still the case here. We, we are playing Philip. So we were knocked out and we were brought here. Well, thank you, whoever, whatever helpful individual wrote these directions here. Oh my god. Okay. What is that? Good question. What the... What the hell? What just happened? Remember I was talking before about how maybe the substance or whatever's in the rock that apparently causes people to go crazy and develop paranoid schizophrenia? I was worried it maybe was affecting me. I think it is. Salvation. Salvation? Mine or someone else's?
So the ventilation shaft has broken. Actually, this is this the ventilation shaft? It looks like it's not meant to be in the like in the walls, but rather it's actually meant to just be hanging out here. I don't even know. This would take up most of the hallway. I don't even know. Who cares? Escape note. Well, I guess you've got my last note. We're through the thick of it now. If you, like me, have just escaped into the ventilation, we shouldn't be far from the stronghold set up in the mess hall. Should be safe there. I've been marking my route. If you follow that, you should be fine. Almost home and dry now. I heard Howard's been working on a cure. Maybe we can beat this thing after all. Maybe, when I get back, we'll be able to sort everything out. And by the time you make it through, you'll be just in time for tea and medals. Maybe even some hot chocolate. How about that? I can't wait. I love hot chocolate. Neil Oswald, Chief Chemist. P.S. Careful of the mess hall security. I designed it myself. It's sensitive to organic material. Okay. Sounds like there's some explosives or some guns in the mess hall. Neil Oswald. Was that on the, like... Was that on the list of personnel inside of the shelter at the end of Penumbra Overture? I feel like that was on there. Neil Oswald. I'd have to go back and check. Some soda. Do you think there's any left? Batteries. No free drinks today. What about Mike Flat Coin? <laughs> it worked! Soda can. I'm surprised that thing fit. By being flattened, I assumed it would have gotten bigger. Which means it wouldn't fit, but... Can I just break this thing? Come on! Give me free soda! Ah, forget it. What the hell? A piece of perfectly flat rubble? That falls as if it's made of styrofoam? I'm just gonna put you back where I found you. There we go. Looks like someone intentionally tried to block this way. They did a pretty good job, too. Yes, they did. I'm not getting through there anytime soon. Soda can. It's a can of soda. Not my favorite flavor, but sweet enough. Still ice cold. That's just empty boxes. Some tried to intentionally block this way too. Collapsed. This way's collapsed? It's blocked up. These voices. Watch your steps. Okay. Oh, yeah, that looks like it's gonna break. <laughs> I thought so. Oh my god. What, did someone set up traps in here? Freaking spikes. Alright, what's this way? Collapse. I guess I could use these boards to get over that. Oh yeah, it's just blocked up. It's blocked up. Alright, it's just these boards to get across. I like how they've given you the option to rotate stuff, because it makes doing these physics puzzles uh, much, much easier. Like, trying to do this without having the ability to rotate the boards would probably be very difficult. Oh god, I'm stuck on the rock. What am I stuck on? There we go. 
Yeah, let's... Wow, that is barely long enough. There we go. Let's get the other one in there for good measure. Oh, what the... Oh, it got stuck in the floor and fell through. All right. It's all down to you, board. Good. Good. You didn't slide. You're also you're also being held up by, like, a quarter of an inch. Let's move you up a little bit more. There. There we go. Ooh, steam. I think this stuff might be cold enough to kill me. Oh, it's not steam. Refrigerant or coolant or something. Freezer. Oh yeah, it's coming from or going to the freezer. Whoa. This is one door that I don't mind being locked. Yeah. Sounds like that's whatever I heard next to me. When I woke up. Is that blood underneath the door? Was someone smashed by the door? Rotten meat. The stench in here is unreal. Oh, looks disgusting. Ketchup. Mr. Yorts? Ketchup. From tomatoes. And other things. <laughs> That's what it says. Ketchup from tomatoes. And other things. Oh! You can actually break the ketchup bottles. Of course, we totally shouldn't do that. Nope, you should never break ketchup bottles. A thermostat controlling the amount of coolant running through these pipes. Alright, so I don't. I didn't remember the start of Black Plague, or what happens in the story at all, but once again, now that I'm doing these puzzles, the solutions are coming back to me. So if I remember right, since this thermostat controls the amount of cooling running through these pipes, if I convince it that the temperature is lower, it'll stop sending coolant, and I believe I do that using the ice-cold, yep, still ice-cold, soda can. The cold can is dropping the thermostat right down, alright. There we go. This looks like the mess hall. Chef Carlito is waiting for you in the mess hall with insert today's specials here. A happy <laughs> worker is an efficient worker and only efficient workers will be fed. What the hell? Okay. something very wrong with this the shelter which I believe is probably where I'm at now this is probably the shelter that could be me if I don't get out of here soon the name tag says Neil Oswald chief chemist he died right next to his own creation whatever this thing does it looks as if it'll trigger if I try to pass yeah it's tr it's triggered by um, organic matter right medical report patient notes Darren Gray Sex, male, age 32, nationality, Australian. Role, excavation team. First symptoms. Patient reported mild disorientation, mild disorientation and was asked to lie down. Mild sedatives administered. Hour three. Patient develops a rash on his neck. Possible infection entry point. Hour four. Two out of three full symptoms manifested. Deja vu. Patient reports that he has already under, undergone standard tests when I'm the only one who could have administered them. Paranoia. Set testing as abhorrent to the patient. I have no doubt that the third symptom... Aural... Aural? Is it aural? It's not oral. I think it's aural, right? Aural distortion will take hold within the next 30 minutes. Abnormal noises, even disembodied voices, and alternate personalities are commonly reported in other infected staff. Disembodied voices. That is exactly... 
what I've been experiencing. Even in the first game. Even when I first, when I first went into the hatch, the first thing I heard was disembodied voices. I'm infected. I'm infected. Hour six. Patient secured as per archaic standard procedure. Bolted the bastard down myself. We can't protect ourselves from infection, but we can take precautions with the infected. Hour seven. Patient pronounced expired by common consent of all those present. Expiration was caused by an overdose of insulin. I administered the dose myself at 612. Death did not occur for a further 13 minutes, three times the expected figure. I wonder to what extent Gray could still be considered a man. What is this infection? Is it caused by what's in the rock? Is this the substance? Is it... Is everyone who went crazy? Whoa. Yes, I'm hearing things. I am hearing things. Is, is everyone who experienced any problems? Who was around here and went crazy at all? Were they all infected? Alright, I need to build... I need to get over this thing. And it's triggered by organic things, right? So this won't trigger it? Yeah. Um, unfortunately, I can't block the laser beams, correct? No. But I can do that. Alright, that's pretty good. Right, so that looks like many, many, many pounds of explosives. What the hell? Oh god. What? I don't know what that is. I probably shouldn't mess with I probably shouldn't mess with that. Let's not mess with that. Poker tour Friday night. Be there. No one will ever be at your poker tour. A message board full of scratch marks. Whoa. Fucking hell. Today's, I guess it's supposed to be, yeah, lunch or specials, whatever. Keep the unpure out. A food menu. Not used for food anymore. It won't open. Looks like that device could be some kind of lock. Only trusted blood will get through. Okay, so I need the blood of someone who's not infected. Which won't be me. Nothing happens. It certainly will not be me. Okay. The entrance to the mess hall is locked with a strange device. Let's see if I can get in here. I just need to move this stuff. Here we go. Ah, that opens. Is this where I came from? This is the hallway where I came from, isn't it? And that's a blood mark. Probably next door to where I was. I think I was there, and the person I was hearing was from there. You know what, I just realized, I have a crosshair. Can I disable that? Uh, game... Yeah, let's turn that off. I don't want that. Much better. Let's, cl 
close this door behind me for now. Is that it? That's a tape player. There's no tape in it. Get these chairs out of my way. Alcohol. A bottle of medicinal alcohol. Dated 1994, Hurricane John still rages in the Pacific and has become the longest lasting tropical cyclone ever recorded. Interesting. Is that connected to what's happening here somehow? It's that artifact! Hold on, what's in here first? Ooh, there's a tape. I've got batteries, but I don't have a flashlight. It has the name Elof written on it. These things are everywhere, and there's still a part of me that's in there. Something that's drawing me in. I put the cassette into the player. My name, Elof Carpenter. Rank, elevated. Status, Code C, imprisoned. Observing the turn cat movement, I predict that it will be my cell they visit next. To my knowledge, I am the last remaining member of the elevated at this facility. And so it falls upon me to ensure that Sino protocol is not compromised. For that reason, I record here the only way I have discovered to neutralize the bunny. Yeah. Yeah. The species yeah. 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 Well, son of a bitch. The species' primary weakness is... And then he's cut off. And maybe cut up. The Turngat. The Turngat. That was a term that came up multiple times before. Apparently that's what these things are called. It's logged. That's my cell, right? Yep, that's my cell. This is what I just heard. I bet there's some useful stuff in there. Damn that lock. You have nothing to open it with. The wall has partially crumbled and is now piling up on the floor. I think it's some sort of fuse box. It must control the electrics in this section of the facility. Locked. No way I'll be able to pry this one open with my bare hands. I think... If I remember right, I think... Yep. I don't think I should use my bare hands on this. Or should- oh, never mind, maybe I can. It won't budge. Wait, so what could the turning the power off do? Other than make it very creepy. Wait. Turning the power off unlocked the doors? Oh. Just empty boxes. Ah, syringe. Uh, what the hell was that? Where can I hide? Uh, no, there's no one here. Oh my god, don't look at it. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Okay, I have a syringe. I think I can use that to get the, the chemist's blood in the mess hall. Maybe use that for the door. Oh, shit. Turn gat, I think they were called. 
the same thing I saw on the table. There's something else here. Pills. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. Um, if he came from here, is this unlocked now? No, it won't budge. Shit. Shit. Okay, 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 okay. Where's it going? Where's it going? Next, next door? Is he checking the next door? Okay. I'm gonna go. He's coming back. Go in here. Go in here. Where's it going? Is he coming? Is he checking in here? No. He's going past. Okay. Go. 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 Okay, he's around the corner. Oh. I'm safe. Oh. It knows I'm here. Let, let's just put a little bit of some, some stuff over there. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I think I can get his blood. A filthy syringe. I reckon it's past its use-by date. Oh, I probably need to clean it with the alcohol, right? I use the alcohol to clean and sterilize the syringe from all the old dry blood. Ew. There, I filled the syringe with blood from the corpse. Oh, that is disgusting. God, I hope this works. I guess it has to. I mean, what else can I do? You can now enter the safe area. <laughs> Something tells me it's not going to be too safe anymore. If this stronghold was anything like as elaborate as its security, I was in for an experience. I didn't know what to expect, but I was getting used to that. What is that? Is that ga- that's a gas. I almost thought we were underwater for a second, but no, I think that's some sort of a gas rising up. That light. It doesn't seem natural. No, those- yeah, those aren't man-made lights. Those are just lights... in the rock. Man, this game is really beautiful sometimes. Welcome to the shelter. A CD labeled Welcome Briefing. Now I just need to find a, com a working computer to play it on. Survivor's note. You're too late. Sorry. We packed up and left today. It's been six months since we established this stronghold, and a year since we released the Turn the Turngad virus. Clearly there's no one coming to rescue us. We took a vote, and decided to head for the old mine shafts this installation was built over. Right towards the start of the Troubles. One of the scientists got out that way. We haven't heard back from him, but you never know. The vote was 8-3 in favor. Anyone returning to this point, I suggest you do the same. There couldn't be more than a few survivors out there, even now, and more and more of our numbers are disappearing, losing it, or getting infected. You can make it out via the sewers, then into the shafts. Eventually, we'll all have to find a way up. And through the ice. We may yet die of cold, but it's better than what happened to Grey. The only person that may still be out there is Howard. Kind of our leader. He left base a few weeks ago, and that part of what's... Wait, and that's, and that's part of what's led us to this. He converted the kitchen into an office, and was translating some old texts, when he claimed to have found a way to counteract the disease. I guess he didn't make it. Amabel Carlito. Something chef? Su oh, sous chef. Howard. That's my father. He'd found a way to counteract the disease. Hmm. It sure is locked tight. Apparently this door is controlled from a remote location. However, it says here that it does open in the events of an emergency. Hmm. Another fuse box. This one seems to be broken.
Yep, that's broken. Whoa. What the hell was that? It came from beneath me. Drainage of sorts. Ooh, batteries. A barrel. From the smell of it, I'd say the crap inside is drenched with gasoline. I know just what to do with you. You say it opens in cases of emergency? Well... Maybe we should make a fire. Come on. Come on. Let's move it under it. Perfect. Mr. Yort's Tasty Flakes. They're yummy. Fortified with all the good things in the... in life that make people happy. It won't open. No visible lock. Access is probably controlled elsewhere. What's in there? Alright, looks like storage. Yeah, it looks like a pantry of sorts. Whoa. Where the fuck did that come from? I'm hearing voices again. I'm just hearing things. It's not even real. An unpleasant odor is coming from the drain. Ugh. Oh look, trash. Ooh, batteries. Oh god, if there's any food in here, it is going to be rotten. It's a broken fridge. Filthy with grease from years of abuse. There's nothing in it. <laughs> I love how you can break everything. Really, I like it. It's... I just love how interactive the world is. I can touch everything and and break stuff and move stuff and manipulate stuff. Lots and lots of tasty flakes. What the hell? Strange artifact. Oh yeah, this game has collectibles for some reason. Which makes no sense to me and is really silly and I wish wasn't in the game. I totally forgot about that. Ooh. I was wondering when I'd find a working computer. I guess I just found it. Documents and articles. Mostly to do with ancient languages and translations. Oh, it's a timeline. A timeline of events. I copied the text on the screen to my notebook. Here we go. 1910, Northwestern Lead Mine opened. August 1930, University of Copenhagen research suggests high local suicide rates may be due to chemical deposits in the mine. Yep, I remember that. September 1939, World War II breaks out. December 1939, part of Lead Mine converted into British Command Bunker. August 1945, World War II ends. August 1945, day later, 
Commanding officer files report on ancient artifact discovered during routine maintenance. So it was the day after World War II ended. 1952. Northwestern lead mine shut down. 1954. New lead and iron operations opened on site of old mine. 1969. Malformed local fauna prompts assignment of Dr. J. Peters to the iron mine. 1970. Dr. Peters discovers abnormally large species of gray rockworm. Yep, I remember reading that report. August 1972. Accident involving large-scale deaths causing entire mining operation to be shut down. Many bodies are never recovered. That would involve Red. He was involved in that. Mm-hmm. Now, the large... The accident, was that the one where somebody used explosives and it blew up a mine shaft or something like that? The guy went crazy and just blew up a bunch of people? Was that... Was that the incident? The accident? That caused the, the cave-ins? January 1973. Archaic becomes aware of events in Greenland. April 1973. Construction begins on Shelter Research Station on site of abandoned north, northwestern iron mine. Alright. The Shelter. So that is a research station. That is what I'm in. 1975. Shelter construction complete. Key members include Overseer Ben Stafferson, Chemist Troy Rotanesque, and Translator Howard Lafresque. Is that... Oh, that's gotta be my father. Yeah, the translator. Mm-hmm. 1990. Shelter operations expand to secondary excavation sites, including Site B, Water Cave. September 1991. Troy Rotanesque, that is the chemist, replaced by Neil Oswald as attending chemist on Site B. January 1992. Substance 63 and Artifact 66B discovered at Site B. February 1992. Site B closed due to hostile local fauna. <laughs> hostile local fauna. March 2000. Primary excavation uncovers Turngat tomb. Excavation continued despite protests protests from Howard Lafresque. So that's when it was uncovered. The virus. Hmm. April 2000. Investigation of Turngat tomb scheduled by Chief Overseer Wilbur Frisk. Well, so much for that. Well, that clears up, um... Well, the timeline of events. Good to know. There's something reassuring about that feeling. Like I've got one less thing to worry about. Yay for save points! Ah, oh, flashlight! Yes! Okay. 99% power. Oh. It's actually a working computer. Door lock controller. Well, let's fix that. Oh. Never mind. My research has uncovered something... Fascinating. Oh, this is Howard's research. This is my father's research. Time and time again, I warned Overseer Frisk I needed time to perform a full textual analysis before my translation could be considered complete. He went ahead with the excavation anyway, and now he's paid the price. This facility's security level is high enough that no trace of it exists beyond the confines of these walls. Not even the archaic central caste has records have records of its location. In fact, the only link to this place in the outside world is the notes I left behind many years ago. However, since the virus was released over one year ago, no rescue attempts have been made. Not one person has tried to enter the facility. Just before the virus was release, released, I sent a message out to someone I could trust. I can only assume that my son, Philip, has received the note and done as I asked. No matter what happens down here, at least I can rest easy in knowing no trace remains of this place, that these secrets Will stay buried here. I've learned over the years never to put too much weight on any one discovery, but the information I now hold is vital not just to our survival but to the future of our species. First thing in the morning, I intend to call on volunteers to set out into the infected areas of the shelter. No one will come, but I shall ask all the same. 
I'll make a move for the library research station first. Then, it's all unknown variables. After that, I shall simply have to put my faith in this discovery. If I am wrong about this, I will barely make it through residential. To think, I left my family for this place, for this organization. Which is more horrible? That I have sacrificed something so dear? Or that I do not regret it for a second? Howard Lafresque, Chief Translator. I copied the contents of the note to my notebook. No CD found in drive. Alright, let's put that in. The CD slid in perfectly. I should be able to read it now. Welcome to Shelter Research Station, Greenland. Shelter is an almost entirely self-sufficient installation, built in the 70s to further serve the purposes of the archaic elevated caste in their pursuit and defense of ancient knowledge. As a new member of the facility, there are some basic rules you should be aware of in order to be useful to the archaic. Shelter provides living facilities, including a mess hall, gymnasium, and medical bay, in addition to the stipulated array of laboratories, chemical and biological, workstations, excavation equipment, and security. Please use the former at your leisure, but expect to be assigned to the latter with a moment's notice. Second, due to the nature of our work here, should you feel in any way ill, lightheaded, or otherwise mentally incapacitated, do not report to the medical facility. Fasten yourself securely to whatever solid object may be available, attempt to seal all connecting doors, and await retrieval by our trained professionals. In a worst-case scenario, be prepared to swallow your personal cyanide capsule, which will be issued after this briefing. The Archaic hates to lose its treasured staff, but it may be for the good of the operation. We know you will enjoy your work with us. Okay. <laughs> what the hell? If you're feeling strange, fasten yourself to the nearest solid object and wait for retrieval. Yep. You heard it here first, kids. That's safety tips from the Archaic. All right, password changes and introduction. What is this? Is that just the text? Yeah, that's just the text version of it. Copied it down. The following password changes have been made since the printing of your personal guide. As always, the above information is strictly confidential and is not to be spread to other members. All right, let's write these down. Uh, number four, five, six, three, three, two, two, three, six, and one, two, six, four, one, six, seven, three, three, four, five. I probably don't need all of these, but just in case, one, one, six, seven, and one, one, two, three. Yeah, I think I just, yeah, I just need this one. Probably. Actually, the others that I have the passwords for aren't even listed. So, no, I actually might need them yet. Yeah, alright, 236 is 1167. Oops. Door unlocked. Thank you. So, which door was that? Would that be this one? Or no, this... Actually, it could be this one. Oh, it is this one. Alright, so this one's gotta be locked. I haven't even tried it yet, but it's probably... Yep, it's jammed. Okay. Is there something behind this box? Oh, of course there is. There had to be something in here. For it is the only way I can go. Man, I really, I love the physics so much. And the sound design, too. I mean, look at this. It's kind of soft. You can feel the weight, and you can hear the weight. Hmm. 
Very cool. Yeah, rub the wall. Rub the wall. <laughs> I'm fine. I, I forgot. You can't walk into a ladder. You have to actually click, click on it to use it. <laughs> it sounded like I broke my legs, but I'm fine. Don't worry. Wait, I... I re-cleaned the syringe? I... I mean, I just filled it up with blood and used it, but apparently it's clean again? Okay. I guess I need it for the future. Otherwise, I wouldn't still have it. This passage caved in long ago. I won't be able to get through here. This looks ominous. You. The sewers seemed like the only route out, but it wasn't out I wanted anymore. My father had found something, and I needed to know what. Without that, everything would have been for nothing. Oh god, not the worms again. The fucking worms. At least it sounded like the worms. Yep, that is the worms. No going back this way. That's freaking whale noise. the voices again. What just happened? This is the beginning of Penumbra. I know this place. I've been here before. No, something's different. That wasn't there before. It's locked. An empty shelf. I remember forgetting to put this on. My door's locked. It's a perfect picture of this room. Almost. Open up. Oh, it's locked, isn't it? Yeah, it's locked. It's a perfect picture of this room. Almost. So do I need to replicate it? I think I do. Okay, so the bucket's not there. This is underneath. Ooh, I just heard something. I just heard something when I did that. There's a second barrel. There it is again. It's a soft. It almost sounds like the worms. And this was up here. What else? What is that on the ground? There's something on the ground. Is it the bottle? Listen how everything echoes. It's as if we're in a room ten times bigger than we actually are. What else? What else? Is anything else different? Is this moved? Kind of looks like there's a. Maybe I need to break the bottle? Yep. Uh, 
This looks different than I remember it. These barrels are filled with ashes. A picture of... I'm not sure. Eggs? Ew. The coffin is unlocked. The surface is slippery and with a leathery texture. There's barbed wire around the bed. It smells like burnt flesh. What the hell? Does it does it want the egg? Smells like burnt flesh. What is this? There's barbed wire everywhere. What do they want? They have their hands out like they want me to give them something, but what? I don't have a fire source. There's nothing else in there. Can't move these. Oh. What did that do? The hands still want. Whoa! Sacrifice. It's rotting, crawling with maggots. Oh! Does it? Does it want it? Oh! I am quite clearly losing my mind. Oh. It's like I'm breaking them when I move them up. Okay, so there's a certain order to this, isn't there? I need to get this door open. It's the only way to go. So is this one first? Then which? Nope, this one first. That is a really disturbing sound, that crunch. Okay, that worked. Oh wait, what about this? It's stuck. Of course it is. Okay. Warm in here. Oh, that's him saying it. Whoever he is. That note, whatever I read did say that one of the symptoms, aside from hearing disembodied voices, is um, another personality, right? I mean, I'm obviously having delusions. I've been hearing voices. Maybe I... Maybe there's another personality now? Some oddly placed barrels. A noose. Books. Red. Yeah, this is, this is my mind. I'm inside of my own mind. What the hell does this do? What the? A 
It's stuck. Is it related to the barrels? Okay, that one caused a fire. I guess that's a good thing. No. No. Yep, that, that did something. Well, it's obviously mine, at least. So the only way it could be ours is if he is a part of me. Oh, God. That's the incinerator where I burned red. Red, I'm so sorry. Are you happier now? Oh, whoa. Okay, okay, stopped. Do I need to go into it? Oh. I better run, okay. Um, fine, let's run. I don't know where the hell I'm going, but I'm running. Something is bashing its way in. I can't jump over there, I'll hit the hand. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, I made it, I made it. Um. Ah, oh, fuck. I don't have anything to bash this down with. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Hello. Hello, can you hear me? What am I doing here? Who am I? Why can I hear their voices? Well, thanks for the help. I'm having an existential nightmare and you can't even say a word. I guess I have another personality with me now. And apparently it's a bit of a smartass, judging by its voice. How the... where do I go? Drainage system. Drainage system. Whoa. Does something just dump water into here? There's something behind one of these boxes. No? Let's 
gotta be something I can do. Oh, I didn't see you. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I think I know what's gonna happen. I need to place the, I need to pre-place the boxes, don't I? Because they're gonna float up, and I can't move them once they're on the surface. Man, don't you just love the water? The, the footstep sounds in the water? They're so good. The sound design is really good. You can hear it nice and normal, and then we sprint. It's so good sounding. Like, mind-bogglingly good. Alright, that should do. Oh god, oh god. Okay, these don't They kinda kinda fall over if you get on the edge. Ah, if only I could reach it. An exit. I would love to get out of here. Yes, me too. Alright, let's move this over. It's too damn high though. So let's use some tiny boxes. Or maybe just one? Just one. And appropriately, after coming out of the sewers, we come out in the bathroom. My torch is running out of power. I should probably add one of my fresh batteries. Wait, you have to... I can do this by opening... Okay, yeah. I didn't know you could add batteries? Oh, I guess it's not automatic anymore. Interesting. That's a change. Before, your batteries were not a separate thing, but they just added to your main power. I've had better days, no doubt. No water. Is that a f The toilet paper... The toilet paper is made out of pages. Which I guess makes sense, because they wouldn't be able to get toilet paper down here, would they? That's, that's a really nice attention to detail. They wouldn't be able to get toilet paper down here, so they had to resort to using pages of books or magazines or something like that. Some sort of paper. So somebody's home. Actually, it doesn't look half bad. Spare, but... We'll see what that is later. It won't start. I don't think it has any power. Ah, uh, it's probably related to that. Probably a fuse or something. Every every time, it's harder to pull out. Every time, I feel more of myself inside. Alright, well, I will explore this room and what is outside in the next episode. So, so far, it is, well, continuing the story. It, I guess exactly where it left off from the first one. Which is good. And adding in some interesting new elements. Like the fact that your batteries are actually a resource you have to consciously put into your flashlight instead of something that just automatically gets added to it. Uh, the fact that you can actually rotate objects around, which is very important for a game that uses physics this much. The introduction of a new personality inside of my mind, and some very strange imagery. Some interesting changes. And of course, no combat. Alright, well I hope everyone has enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.